In the NRCS CPA 52, Section H Alternatives, you need to document proposed alternatives. At a minimum, a no-action alternative must be documented along with at least one other alternative. The no-action alternative should include a brief summary of the activities that would be implemented in the absence of government assistance. It should answer the question of what impacts are likely to occur under the landowner's current and planned management strategies without implementation of a federally assisted action. For alternatives one and two, you want to list the practices or system of practices being proposed for each alternative and indicate if the alternative meets RMS, Resource Management System, criteria based on the state's requirements. It is often beneficial for one alternative to contain the practices that NRCS has determined best address all of the identified resource concerns so the client can consider potential future conservation actions. Planning, by its nature, is both progressive and adaptive. A first-time client may only be interested in a single practice to meet one of their resource concerns. By introducing the planning process, the client has presented a range of alternatives to address multiple resource concerns and ideally to develop and implement an RMS. An RMS is a combination of conservation practices and resource management activities for the treatment of all identified resource concerns, human considerations, and protected resources that meets or exceeds the planning criteria found in Section 3 of the Field Office Technical Guide. It is important to continue assisting the client in addressing resource concerns by increasing the level of planning and implementation over time and ultimately achieving planned goals.